Hey everyone, um, what we're going to do today is a finesse style brush jig. Um, in the vise, we have a quarter ounce brush jig with a 2 aught VMC7161 heavy wire hook. Um, the color is my uh, hot craw, which is just green pumpkin on the top, a little bit of orange, and some brown on the very bottom. Um, this is going to be an easy one to tie. Um, <clears throat> so let's get started. We're going to get um, a base of black, two tendon ear, flat wax, nylon thread, as always. And the first color we're going to put on is just a straight up green pumpkin. This is a green pumpkin with a little bit of black flake. Um, again, I bought this at Barlow's Tackle. Uh, the number, I believe, is uh, 787, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 787 is that number of that color, which is just a basic green pumpkin. And we're going to tie it in just to one wrap to hold it and we'll work it around till we get it all the way around. Looks pretty good. Could be a little bit more on the front there. Yeah, it's, I'm going to put a couple more wraps on it. And this one I'm not going to wrap all the way down tight to the ring. You can if you want to. I'm not going to. I'm going to focus more up on the head, and you'll see why when it's finished. The next color, Green Pumpkin Nature's Edge, and that's this black print that's all along here. Um, again, if you're getting it from Barlow's, uh, it's number 617 in the Nature's Edge. Make it easier to find for you. And they just make two loose wraps and start working it around. It's a little bit more difficult when there's another material down, but take your time. You'll get it. It's worth it. And eventually uh, you get muscle memory and you figure out how much pressure it takes to move the material around and get it spread out where you could use your fingers and manually pull it. I still have to do that sometimes. And got pretty good, pretty good distribution of that second color. So I'm gonna again wrap it tight to the head. Make a couple wraps. That's now I want to start getting my wraps tight. Again, I'm staying up towards the head. I'm not moving it all the way down to the ring. Now, the next material we're gonna add are these. These are medium centipede legs, medium size. Uh, I get these from Cabela's um, simply because they have them when I go down there. Uh, it's like a fine rubber uh, with these black spots. This is called speckled orange. Um, the number is 620. So go to Cabela's, you type in medium centipede legs, and number 620 will be the right color. Uh, you can't miss it. I'm taking six of them. At first, I take three of them. I hold them like that and put them off to one side. Make two securing wraps. And you want to tie them that they're about as high as this, maybe a little higher. Because, uh, of course, when you cut the ends off, these are going to be shorter. But you want to tie it just the same as uh, what it is with the top here, the silicone. Um, with the ends on them. So that's where you want them. And you're going to take three more. Could do this um, with any jig, but I make this one here. It's a uh, really wicked finesse uh, bait for um, like brush when uh, the fish just don't want to cooperate. You have a little bit clearer water, you know, two and a half, three feet of visibility. Uh, they're spooky. This is where it is. It's a smaller. Uh, smaller profile, but basically it's a it's a heavy jig. It's a heavier duty jig. And we're going to put these other three 
on this side. And don't get uh, excited if it's not perfect uh, on each side. I very rarely get it perfect. It doesn't need to be. It just needs to be on there to show that color. And you'll see when these centipede legs are in the water with silicone, you'll see why I do it. So we're going to start making our final wraps. And this is a weedless jig. And you want to wrap your collar till there's no more material shown. Put it up and we're going to whip finish. Cinch it. See, sometimes that material gets caught in the thread, which it did. And I don't want to trap that down. Definitely not, because that's one of the allures of this particular pattern. Let's see, I did get a trap. There it goes. Cinch it. Trim. I'm going to take some Loctite uh, brush on super glue. And I'm sorry if I keep going on about brands, but that, that's what I use because um, it comes in a brush on. And the size of the brush is perfect for this, like the, the Gorilla Glue brush on. The brush is really wide, so it makes it hard to apply the super glue, which is another reason why I use this Loctite super glue brush on. So now that we have that, we're going to take our top strands, and we're going to cut just a little bit below the solid part. Not too far. Just maybe even, um, and we're going to take these these pieces and we're going to cut them just a hair longer than what uh, the silicone is. Can even leave them like that if you want. Now, the bottom part, help if I put my scissors up there that don't keep falling on me. I'm using the big scissors for the bottom. And we're going to cut these uh, about an inch and a half past the bend of the hook. And we're going to take our long ones and maybe an inch past the silicone because we want these a little longer. And we are done. Now, of course, I got to put a weed garden all in here. But uh, let me get my forceps here so I could show you what we got going on. You see how we tied to the head so that flares that material out straight. It's not straight, it's not going up, it's straight out. Um, this thing is a menace in the water. It gets bit, gets bit good too. Um, and it's simple to tie. And you see how it, it has nice flare anyway to it. The bottom sticks out, put a nice uh uh the medium sized pocket chunk on there. Or what I like is the green pumpkin orange. It's hard to find, but it's uh, the Zoom Super Chunk Junior. And that color works perfect with this pattern. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.